in this tutorial we are going to talk about ballistic pendulum okay so there are two scenarios which you need to be familiar with under ballistic pendulum so ballistic pendulum it can undergo either uh, in uh, elastic collision or in elastic collision so we know what elastic collision is elastic collision is a type of collision whereby when everything happens or we can say after collision after the two balls or maybe after two blocks collide then they are going to move separately okay so let's say if we have a block then we can call it as block a and then we have got another block which is block b okay so now if these things are moving in a straight line let's say that this guy block b is initially at rest meaning the initial velocity there is zero so now if this guy block b comes to to bump into block a uh, block a comes into block uh, b what is going to happen is that uh, these two guys are going to start moving but what is going to happen is that uh, these two ball these two block they are going to move uh, with a separate what velocity so let's say maybe this is uh, a and then this is b so what it really means is that uh, after collision each block will have its own velocity the final velocity that is elastic collision so now what of uh, elastic collision elastic collision is a type of collision whereby after collision the two guys they are going to be moving with the same velocity so in short they are going to be moving together okay so if i have got a and then a bumps into b okay so if B was initially at rest, so if these guys they start now moving, let's say this is A, this is B. So in elastic collision is a collision whereby after collision, these two guys are going to be moving eh, together. They will stick together. Okay? So they will stick together. That is elastic collision. So even ballistic pendulum, it can undergo elastic collision or what? Eh? In elastic collision. So let's start explaining or let's start um, knowing what elastic collision is under ballistic pendulum so what really happens is that uh, this block we have got the bullet and the what uh, the block so the block is always at what uh, initially at rest meaning that the the initial velocity of the block is always zero meters per second okay but the initial this guy the bullet is going to be moving with a certain velocity so we can call that one as initial velocity which is uh, moving with okay now we know that after collision if it is elastic collision the block and the bullet they are supposed to be moving separately meaning that what is going to happen is that uh, this block is going to penetrate in the what uh, in the block and then what is going to happen is that uh, the bullet is going to be moving its own and it's going to have its own uh, final velocity final velocity at the same time this guy will also be moving its own its own but it's going to have what uh, the final velocity to this one uh, the the velocity of the block and and then if we can observe we can observe to say this guy the block is going to to move up with a certain height which we can call it as what as h okay meaning that uh, when a ballistic collision is under elastic collision we can we can come up with the formula to say if this is the mass of the bullet and then we can call it m small letter b if this is the mass of the uh, block we can call it m capital b to symbolize what uh, the mass of the uh, the mass of the block okay meaning that uh, i know the formula for elastic collision elastic collision is always like this m1 v1 which is initial has plus m2 v2 has to be equal to m1 v1 prime prime just means it's the same as what the final velocity if you want you can put f final or v prime it's the same thing okay so here we are going to be using uh, v prime and then plus m2 v2 prime okay so now for us not to be confused i want us to take the velocity of the block as uh, v cap small letter b or the the bullet and then the velocity of the block as v capital b okay so what do what are we going to have here Wha what we're going to have here guys is uh, we are going to have the mass of the bullet so it's going to be m 
small letter b v b plus m capital b v b so these velocities which we are writing here these are initial velocities okay and then this has to be equal to m small letter b v b prime now this prime is prime of velocity after collision okay plus m 2 then v b prime okay so this is the formula which we are supposed to use for us to come up with anything we want but first let's check what you are going to observe there is that uh, this guy for us to come up with the velocity of uh, the v uh, the block we know that it has moved it's more like uh, it has moved from this point and then it has uh, gone somewhere there and you have got what uh, the s so initially we know that before moving up it had what uh, when it was moving there it had what uh, kinetic energy initially there it had kinetic energy now since we have got height on top there we don't have kinetic energy but we have what uh, potential energy so for me to come up with the velocity meaning i'm supposed to equate these guys equal to each other meaning i'm going to say the potential energy on top has to be equal to the kinetic energy down meaning that the potential energy we know that is m g h is equal to the kinetic energy is half m v squared okay so the mass is the same we're talking about the mass of the block so the mass is going to be cancelled okay and then we are going to remember the formula h g is equal to half v squared now this v which we are talking about is the final velocity of the block so for me to get the final velocity of the block if it is under elastic corrosion i'm supposed to use this formula so i'm going to to derive this formula is going to give me v squared is going to be equal to 2 hg then i get the square root i'm going to have the square root of 2 gh so i i'm supposed to get the what the velocity now this velocity is the velocity of the block now if i get that velocity is going to help me to get again the what is either it's going to help me to get the final velocity of the bullet or if i know the final velocity of the bullet but i don't know the initial velocity of the bullet i can also use that one but we know that initially the block was at least meaning this one is going to give us zero okay so that is what we need to understand when it comes for uh inelastic collision under what or elastic collision under ballistic pendulum meaning that uh, those two guys the bullet and the block they're going to move separately after collision but the block is going to move at a certain height and then initially it's going to have kinetic energy up there is going to have potential energy so you can equate them equal to each other for you to get the the velocity the final velocity of the block simple that is the formula which we are supposed to use okay now let's see if we want to if maybe uh it is not elastic collision but it is what uh, inelastic collision what can we do okay so now we know that under inelastic collision these two guys are supposed to the block is supposed to to move together with the what the block in short it's going to be embedded in the what in the block okay so that is what we need to be familiar with so what we are going to have now is that this guy after collision this guy is going to go inside and then it's going to to remain inside so they are going to move together so if these guys move together meaning that here we are going to have the same height because it has moved a certain height and then the formula changes so since we are saying that this one is going to be m cap small letter b this one is going to be m capital b then we can come up with the formula to say the mass of the blade uh, of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the block times the velocity of the block has to be equal to now after collision what happens these two guys as we can see they are together here they are going to be moving with the same velocity so meaning that we are supposed to add the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block now this one i'm supposed to to say even this will be the final velocity now this velocity is the velocity which is going to help us to even calculate the initial velocity of the bullet if we don't know that okay so now 
after collision, these two guys are going to be moving together. So meaning that uh, it's very much possible that I can eliminate this one because I know that this block is always at rest. Meaning my formula, the final formula is going to be like this. This will be my hmm, final formula. So this final velocity is a velocity which was uh, just here before it goes up. So now for me to get that velocity, I've got the height. What should I do? On top there, I've got potential energy. Down here, I've got kinetic energy. So initially, just before it goes on top, what happens was that we are going to equate potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. So I know that this is going to be mh, and then that one is going to be half mv squared. Okay. And then I can cancel mass. Now, this mass is the addition of the mass of the block and the mass of what? The bullet. So it's the same thing if we, if we need to just put mass. So it's a combination. You can cancel the mass. And then we're going to have the same formula, which is going to be like this. Therefore, we can do times 2 everywhere. And then we're going to get our equation as 2gh two v squared. I get the square root I'm going to have. 2gh. Initially, this velocity is this velocity which we have there. That is the only concept which you are supposed to know under ballistic pendulum. Okay, so let's see how we can solve some questions. Let's see how we can solve some questions. Okay, so we have got this interesting question here. The question is, a bullet of mass 10 grams and, tra uh, and traveling at a speed of 500 meters per second strike a block of 2 kgs, which is suspended by a string of length uh, 5 meters. The bullet goes through the block in a very short time, and the center of gravity of the block is found to, uh, to raise at a vertical distance of 10 centimeters. What is the speed of the bullet just after it emerges from the block? Okay, so this one we can consider to say since the block uh the uh, the bullet went in and then it goes out then we can say that this is what elastic collision so we know the formula for elastic collision these guys after collision they're going to move separately now how what happens what is going to happen is that uh, we are going to have this formula the mb vb plus the mass of the block velocity of the block has to be equal to now these guys are going to move separate now so we're going to have the mass of the bullet the velocity of the bullet now the final one plus the mass of the block times the velocity of what the block final but initially we know that the 2 kgs were the, uh, was at rest this guy was at rest therefore we are supposed to cancel what we are supposed to cancel this then our formula reduces to this one okay so our formula reduces to mass B V final. Now our goal is to calculate the um the velocity of what of our goal is to calculate the what the velocity of uh what is the speed of the bullet just before okay the velocity of the what the bullet. Now we are trying to get this velocity, but how can we get the velocity of this guy here? How can we get the velocity of this guy? We know the velocity of this one already. Or if maybe we can come up with the data. I have come up with the data already here. The initial velocity of the, uh, the bullet. We have it there. Then the initial velocity of this guy is always zero because it is at rest. That is the reason why we have cancelled this. Because it's going to give us zero. Okay. So now, I can't find... I don't know the velocity of the... Uh, the final velocity of the bullet as well as the final velocity of what? The block. So we can use, we know that uh, initially this guy is going to have the velocity down here before it goes on top. So we have got kinetic energy, but on top there we have got potential energy. Okay? Therefore, we are supposed to equate these guys. Potential energy is going to be equal to kinetic energy. So I know that this is mass GH half MV. Okay? Squared. I can cancel mass. And then I'm going to remain with this formula. Now, this this velocity which we are trying to calculate here is the velocity of the block after collision. Okay, so what would be that velocity now? Let me 
so we are going to do times two everywhere in this equation and then after doing that we are going to to discover to say we are going to have this equation we are going to have 2g h is equal to v squared okay meaning that uh, i can take the square root and then i'm going to have 2g h okay now from there let's get rid of this and then we're going to say v let's plug in the values we have the 2 times 9.8 to the g times the height the height we have been given here that is 10 centimeters we are supposed to convert these 10 centimeters into meters which is going to be um 10 by 10 divided by what 100 okay which is going to give us 0 0.1 0 0.1 so if i take that one times 9.8 again times 2 i'm getting 1.96 now the square root of that one i'm getting 1.4 meaning that uh, this 1.4 meters per second is the velocity of the block after collision this guy meaning that i have this now now i can find this okay so what are we, are we supposed to do we have now the velocity of this one as 1.4 meters per second now let's plug in the values you can just let's create space this side okay so we can just come up with the data let me just get rid of this let's just come up with data so that uh, we know we, we now know the uh, vb prime as 1.4 meters per second we now know the vb the the velocity of the bullet we know that is 500 meters per second but we really don't know the the velocity of the bullet after collision we don't know that is what we want to calculate what of the mass of the bullet the mass of the bullet is 10 grams we can convert that 10 grams into kgs which is going to be 10 divided by 1000 and then we are going to get 0 0.01 kgs okay then we also know the mass of mm, the block the mass of the block is 2 kgs okay now now that we know all the data which we want and then we can just plug in the values the mass of the bullet we have said that is 0 0.01 times the uh, the velocity of the bullet is 500 so i'll put them in brackets has to be equal to the mass of the bullet is 0 0.01 times what eh? vb prime that is that is the velocity which you want to to come up with now what is the mass of the bullet or the oh, the mass of the block the mass of the block is 2 times the mass of the oh, the velocity of the bullet sorry the velocity of the block is what eh? uh 1.4 Okay, let's see now. So if I do 1.01 times 500, okay, so if I do one zero point zero one times 500, I'm getting 5. So I'll put 5 here. And then here I'm, I'm going to get the same 0 0.01 VB1 plus. What is 1.4 times 2? I'm getting 2.8 okay so i'm supposed to shift this 2.8 to the other side i'm going to have 5 minus 2.8 has to be equal to 0 0.01 vb prime okay so that one minus 5 we're saying 5 minus that one i'm getting 2.2 has to be equal to 0 0.01 velocity of the bullet that is the uh, velocity of the bullet which you want that is after collision now we can divide both sides by 0 0.01 even here 0 0.01 so we are getting the velocity of the bullet after collision as 2.2 divided by 0 0.01 okay so i'm getting 220 meters per second so this is the velocity of the bullet after collision and this answer makes sense because we know that after collision the bullet is going to lose some kinetic energy and it's going to transfer some energy into what uh, the block meaning that uh, the velocity of the bullet after collision is supposed to be less than 500 and for sure 220 meters per second is less than 500 meters per second so the answer makes sense so that is one way which we can use ballistic pendulum method to come up with what uh, anything which we want okay so this type of question was under what uh, 
uh, elastic collision. But let's see if we have got another question. Maybe it is asking about elastic collision. How do we calculate the velocity or anything which we want to calculate? Okay. So now this type of question is under um, uh, it is also ballistic pendulum, but it is elastic because these guys eh, they are going to be moving together after collision, after everything. So the question leads: a ten grams, a ten grams bullet is fired horizontally into a thirty kg block of wood suspended from the, or suspended from a string of one point five meters long. The bullet gets lodged into the block. The block swings up with a height of 0 0.6 meters. Find the initial speed of the bullet. Okay, so these guys are moving together after collision. And then we know that this is what? Elastic collision. Okay, so in elastic collision, we know that this formula will remain the same. So it's going to be the mass. We are going to call this one as the same MB, then this one M capital B. Then the velocity, let's say this is going to be. So we want to find the initial velocity of the block. So we're going to see how we can find that. So this is the formula which we are supposed to use. We know that this formula is going to be the mass of the, bol uh, of the bullet, velocity of the block, oh, the blade plus the mass of the block. The velocity of the block has to be equal to. Now here the mass has to combine. Because these guys are now moving together. So we're going to have only one final velocity. Because as you can see, even here we have got two guys. Okay. So now, we really don't have the initial velocity for the block. So this guy um, will go. So we're going to have mm, this formula. So we're going to have that formula. The mass of the block, the velocity... And then the final velocity will be there because they are now moving together. Okay, so what happens now, guys, is that we can't find this guy minus knowing the final velocity. So basically, we know that initially it had kinetic energy here. On top there, it had what? Potential energy. Therefore, I'm supposed for me to come up with the final velocity, I'm supposed just to equate potential energy has to be equal to kinetic energy. That's all. Then I know that this is mgh. This is half m v squared. So this v which we are talking about is the final velocity after everything. Now the mass is the combination of mm, the mass of the bullet and the mass of what? Mm, the block. Because those guys were moving together after collision. Therefore we can cancel the mass. We are going to have the same formula as uh, this one. Half and then we have m g. Oh sorry we have got g h because m we don't have there. g h. So we do times 2 everywhere, we are going to find that V squared is going to be equal to 2GH. To get the square root, we are going to have the root of 2GH. Okay, so let's try to find the velocity, the final velocity now. So we're going to have the velocity there, and then I've got 2, 9.8 times. This one we have been given that is 0 0.6. Okay, so now we have 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.6. Now the root of that one, I'm getting 3.4, 3.4, 3 meters per second. That is the final velocity after everything. Okay, so if that is the final velocity after everything, and then we can find, we can find what? This is the final velocity now, which is which we are going to use to put there. So now, since we know that, let's first convert this. Uh, mass. This mass is the same as 0 0.01 kgs. Because that is 10 grams. And then we can now come up with this one and say, since we know that that one is 0 0.01 times the velocity we don't know. Okay? Has to be equal to. The mass of the, bl uh, of the bullet is 0 0.01 plus the mass of the block is 3. Everything times the velocity of the block or the velocity of everything after collision which we have just come up with and is 3.43. Okay, so we are going to have 0 0.01 VB has to be equal to 0 0.01 
plus 3 times 3.43 so I'm getting 10.3243 now I divide this one by 0 0.01 I divide this one by 0 0.01 so I'm going to have my velocity the initial velocity of the block is going to be that one which I have by divided by 0 0.01 okay so I'm getting the initial velocity as 1032.43 meters per second meaning this is the velocity of the block that was initially here okay so this is the only thing which you need to understand under ballistic pendulum 